Hello and welcome to this Sennheiser Sound Academy video. In this video, we're going to share with you some advice on how best to protect yourself and your clients by keeping your microphones as hygienic as possible through regular cleaning and swapping out of components during daily use during this COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. As with everything to do with the removal of potential biological contaminants, please always refer to your local health authority to ensure you are following the local laws for your location. Your health is the most important thing to us. So depending on where you are and how crowded the location, we always recommend having a face mask ready and keeping a set of gloves on during these cleaning processes. Handheld and studio mics can be given some very simple cleansing to give the person using them confidence that nothing is hanging around on them. For the body of any of these mics, you can happily use a 70% alcohol solution to clean down the outside with either a soft cloth or a tissue. However, please do not spray the solution directly onto the mic as it may get into the capsule itself and damage the membrane. Spray it onto a tissue or cloth first. With some of these mics, you will be able to remove the head grill and get that cleaned as well. Once you have the head basket off, you will need to remove any foam that may be on the inside. For the basket, we can use the alcohol mixture again with a brush to get into all the holes. For the foam windshield, we only recommend using warm water with a splash of dishwashing liquid mixed in. After a thorough soaking, rinse off the foam with clean water. You can also use this process on any external foam shields that you may be using. Once you're done, leave everything to dry thoroughly for up to 12 hours, and once dry, reassemble and you're good to go. An even faster way of getting your mics back into action is to get a selection of spare baskets and external foam windshields that you can replace between uses, allowing you the time afterwards to clean them. You can still wipe down the body with the alcohol solution and swap out that basket and any foam parts that you are using. And please remember to change your gloves before handling the next microphone. Lavalier and head mics require a little more care when cleaning. Alcohol solution should not be used on the cable or the capsule of these microphones as it will cause damage to these parts. For these parts, all you can do is use distilled water to clean down the cable, and for some select Lavalier, such as our MKE-1, you can also clean the capsule itself. But please refer to the manual before attempting this with your own microphones. For Lavalier microphones, our simplest suggestion is again to have a series of replacements for the frequency caps and foam shields, or even more simply, replace the whole microphone between use. We hope this short video has been helpful for you and given you some ideas for how to better prepare your mics for use by multiple people in one day whilst maintaining good hygiene. If you have the chance to use one mic per person, this would always be our recommendation for maintaining higher levels of hygiene, following which these tips can still be used in a more relaxed environment. For deeper information on our recommendations on how to work with your mics in a more hygienic way, please visit our website at the address on screen. As always, please consult your local health authority for exact rules of what may be expected of you. Thanks for watching and thanks for keeping things safe. After all, the show must go on.